Hello everyone, good day. And now, uh, tapos na ta mag-characterize sa mga agricultural ways. Uh, we know already yung saon pagkuha or pag-characterize ato ato mga agricultural ways for us to know how to handle, how to collect, how to utilize and treat para makatabang sa, sa makatabang siya sa ato in terms sa iyang economic benefit but uh, also dili lang siya makako dili siya makakos og pollution sa environment og makakos og mga different na mga problems especially sa human health so karon uh, let's know na pod uh, how to design uh, agricultural waste management system and treatment facility. So now let's start discussing uh, lecture 8 which is design of AB waste treatment and management systems. So our first topic for lecture 8 is all about the siting of AB waste management. So the purpose of siting AB waste management is that it can improve the efficiency uh, minimize adverse effects and improve aesthetics at ang uh, systems. So, like I say, like I always say, the type of our waste varies at ang design, storage, uh, treatment, and utilization, especially sa designs at ang facility and equipment. So, we already done discussing about the uh, six basic functions of agricultural waste management management systems di ba katong uh, production collection we have the storage treatment transfer and utilization and a motto ato ang i-address in designing ab waste management so during the planning process it is very critical to arrange and locate the various agricultural waste management systems uh, components so they are functional and compatible with the surroundings landscape. It is also important to properly locate components so that uh, they meet the local ordinance, you know, the national mga laws, so such as locating lagoons at the proper setback, uh, distance from streams and placing components to minimize impacts to the adjacent land uses. So the process of placing agricultural uh, agricultural waste management system components na akong i-discuss karon sa land is similar to that for the integrating of other conservation practices. So the following process will help us cite the system uh, as well as provide means of document planning decisions. So, during the planning, ang pinakauna na to uh, buhaton or we need to do is to survey the topographic area sa place or we have an aerial photograph na atong i-prepare. And uh, most of us, mga engineers, mga planners, and mga designers will be based uh, our objectives sa nakasurvey. Sa atong na-survey or sa survey, surveyor kung sa atong mga assessment sa survey and uh, topographic survey. The data to be obtained should be uh, first in property lines, no? so easement or atong right of way. And uh, we have the names of adjacent parcels, the positions of buildings, wells, culverts, uh, walls, fence, roads, gutters, and uh, paved areas. So I have a picture here for you to uh, understand more or a diagram or a figure. So here we I have the example of a base map. So makita ninyo kung unsa to kung asa naka locate ang mga uh, different uh, establishment, uh, different uh, mga uh, unsa ang unsa ang different na mga uh, status or area sa isa ka place or sa tukuran ni mga cultural waste management systems. So, through this, uh, mahibala na to or masorbi na to kung unsa dapat ang mga buhaton, unsa dapat ang i-adjust, kung unsa itong mga uh, pinahanglan na ato ang i-consider. So, continuation lang, we have the location, type, size of existing uh, utilities. We have the septic systems, the location of wet areas, streams, and bodies of water, 
we have the rock outcrops and other geological features the the ge geologic and soils data existing vegetation elevations at contour interval of one foot around anticipated storage or treatment treatment areas and two to five feet uh, around the anticipated area utilization areas we have also the zoning ordinance and deed restrictions land uses land uses or on-site and adjacent and then the climatic information so kanita nan is makita ni siya sa base map and dapat it should be no nga makita ni sa base map because uh, isa ni siya sa to ang basihan in designing in designing agricultural waste management systems so one method of understanding site conditions is to prepare a site analysis so kanina step will uh, identify or ma-identify nato ang mga problems and opportunities associated with installation of agricultural waste management system so a topography map or aerial photograph or conservation map plan or plan map should be taken into the field where the site conditions and observations can be noted. So, kibali dapat na atay actual na mga note. So, these are mga site analysis. So, first is the land use patterns and their relationship. We have the potential impacts to the uh, to or from the process proposed agricultural waste management system. And we have also the existing or potential other problems existing or potential circulation problems or opportunities soil types and areas of erosion water quality of streams and water bodies the drainage patterns we have also the vegetation to the to, to be preserved or removed we have the logic logical building locations uh, points of access and areas for waste utilization and uh, good and poor views so sun diagrams documenting location of sunrise and sunset in one winter and summer to determine sunny or shaded areas slope aspects so uh, prevailing summer and winter wind direction uh, frost pockets and heat sinks areas where snow collects and other important microclimate conditions farmstead features that have special cultural value or meaning to the uh, decision make decision makers so a uh, last one options for removal or relocation of existing buildings to allow for more siting alternative for agricultural waste management components so we have an example of site analysis plan here where we have notes the actual analysis uh, Sa area so through this makita nato ang mga problems if there is mga dapat i address in putting up agricultural waste management and uh, also through this no ma, ma anticipate nato kung unsa tuy maayo na plan for that uh, identify the mga problem or mga instances no nga mahitabo uh, ani nga area so next to analysis plan we have the concept plan so conceptual plans are developed to uh, to evaluate alternatives so na ay mga required na ay mga required sa six functions and ang agricultural waste management systems and kato sila na ay mga required or associated na mga areas uh, access ways so water management and etc and uh, should be drawn to approximate scale scale site analysis plan or an overlay so through this concept plan ma consider na to ang mga proposed na proposed site that uh, best consider the cost differences environmental impacts mga legal uh, ramifications and operational capabilities and uh, continued analysis can uh, further refine the location size shape arrangement of waste uh, facilities so if na ay ipang adjust major or minor anticipate og maplanuhan og uh, mahatagan siya tentative or 
or alternative na plan for that identified na problem using this concept map or concept plan. So next, we have the site plan. So completion of subsequent steps of the planning process uh, results in the final site plan. So as preface contract construction, drawing, and specification, this plan will have a final location, location and configuration of proposed components and ancillary structures. So finished elevation, construction, construction materials, and exterior finishes, suitable plant uh, species and planting areas. So, katong circulation routes, utility corridors, and utilization areas are example of information uh, to be included nga dapat i-appeal. So, this plan is submitted to decision makers for approval if ma-approve siya or dili. So, next is the design consideration. So, the agricultural waste management system should be designed to blend into the site and its surrounding with no adverse environmental uh, effects. So the following design consideration will aid the planner or sa tua mga agricultural and biosystems engineer in achieving this objective. So first, we have the uh, landscape. So landscape resources. So we should consider landscape resources in the design. So we have the visual quality so, mo siya ang appearance sa landscape. So, next is the uh, visibility. So, who views the landscape and landscape views? So, ikatulo, how people use the landscape. So, all of these three factors need to be consider, considered when citing agricultural waste management systems. So, it really, hel it really helps sa mga decision makers and um, ang visual quality sa isa ka farm. So, perception of what will enhance visual quality and reflect stewardship uh, ethics at ang mga neighbor. So, especially sa tuan na more physical and uh, visual ka ita mo based on judgment. So, next to landscape resources, we have the landscape elements. So, by definition, it is a structures, uh, vegetation, and water can be used to describe the landscape character of the site. So, manipulation of landscape elements uh, can improve the operation of an existing agricultural waste management system or help integrate a new agricultural waste management system into the farmland. So, cunning landscape elements will help the structures, the landform, water and vegetation within this uh, system. So, affects the aesthetic quality, operational uh, efficiency, energy consumption, runoff, and specific functions of the site. So, manipulation of these elements can establish desirable uh, views, buffer noise, uh, determine circulation of animals and equipment, uh, we can manage odor, modify air temperature, effect of snow or wind-blown soil deposition, especially dito sa laing country, kaya naa sila yung mga snow and uh, mga kusog ng mga hangin, and optimize use of available space. So, kasi if na at a proper uh, placement, it can help reduce health and safety hazards and uh, maka-enhance siya sa quality of life uh, values. So, under this landscape elements, we have the landform. So, landform can be used as it occurs on the site or it can be modified to improve uh, farm operations, direct or screen views, buffer incompatible uses, reduce massiveness of above, grou above ground structures, control access, improve drainage and influence uh, microclimates. So, si landforms serve as a model for uh, designing new landforms, no, designing new landforms, such as embankments, mga berms, and spoil disposal uh, mounds. So, for example, kanina nasa picture, nasa picture, it provides a backdrop of agricultural uh, waste management uh, system. 
So an existing landform can serve as a model for design of a new earth mounds. So uh, we have here the slope rounding and slope reduction. So can slope rounding and slope reduction help to blend landforms onto the uh, landscape uh, like a ning na as a figure. Uh, and in the figure, there are two of many earth grading and shaping techniques that can reduce erosion and help to blend land forms into the landscape, like in NASA picture. So, integrating above agricultural waste management system components into flat uh, landscape, like in NASA figure 8-8, no? structures projecting above the horizon, are prominent features on this flat landscape. And then uh, we have the excavating for a pond or lagoon. The shoreline can be irregularly shaped with smooth curved edges, edges to make the pond or lagoon appear natural, like an in as a uh, figure 8-9. So the shoreline and reflective surface of this waste storage Storage pan make it appear to be traditional farm pan. And uh, next is the structures. So structures provide a space for ongoing farm activities by creating enclosure, existing barns, uh, shed houses, fences, storage tank, ponds, and silos are structural elements to be considered when citing components of an agricultural waste management system. So planning for new agricultural waste management components may give the decision maker an opportunity to update and uh, recognize farm structures and land uses between them. So existing operations and equipment may have an indoor or outdoor spaces, very uh, different in size and shape than those currently needed. So the structure also provide uh, options for collecting runoff, channeling or dispersing air flows, and wind controlling circulation of animals and equipment and separating use areas. So coordinating colors of new agricultural waste management systems with color materials of the existing um, farm buildings will reduce their visibility and preserve existing landscape character. So the newly installed above ground storage tank uh, showing in figure 8-10 is cited to be the inconspicuous part of the overall uh, farmstead. Its color is uh, also compatible with those the surrounding landscape. So, kanina picture, above ground surface storage tank is inconspicuous in, in on this uh, highly scenic landscape due to careful design, sighting, and uh, color. So, we have also the water and the vegetations. Though dili kayo visually makita ang water resource, but knowing that this agricultural waste management system has a source uh, for clean water, it can add up no kanang makatabun siya sa mga undesirable views na makita sa mga tao or sa locals or sa mga mag-approve. So, same with the clean water, it can be used to divert attention uh, to the other features, especially if makabalo sila nga uh, nanas na akana ang agricultural waste management system is nagaproduce og uh, clean water. So here we have some common vegetative uh, patterns. So it illustrates the common vegetative uh, patterns that can be used as e models. So the best guide, however, is to duplicate the vegetation patterns of the locality or sa region kung unsa tung mga existing. So, naturally occurring vegetation is more likely to be in irregular configura configurations rather than the straight geometric uh, arrangements. And, and then next, we have the visibility. So, it involves both views from within the site and views on the site. So, important views to mountains and valleys 
water water bodies or areas of special meaning to the decision makers should be uh, should not be blocked and when citing components unless other alternatives are not available and then we have the landscape use so people value landscape based on how they are used so landscape can be used directly by physical interaction such as farming or recreating or directly by gaining benefits so such as wind protection or screening and then there and desirable view from the shelter belt so example of visibility kaning na as a picture nga uh, attached so kaning way storage pan shown sa figure it is visible from the adjacent road the concrete liner made necessary by existing soil condition Conditions contrast dramatically with the dark manure surrounding soil and uh, vegetation. So, next one is the circulation. So, circulation patterns of animals and equipment can be easily affected by uh, the installation of agricultural waste management systems. Na mga waste na um, usab or mailisdan, especially sa construction of agricultural waste management system. And then, na ay mo mabuhat or mahimo ang new roads and path, path, pathways are often required to ensure uh, an efficient uh, new system. So, roads and pathways and other forms of circulation should lead to their destination in an orderly and efficient manner. Na ay mga, na ay mga cases na or existing shortcuts must be abandoned and new circulation barriers must be used to accomplish this. So, for example, an existing manure storage fund that is a figure 8-18A may take cropland out of the production and uh, require additional maneuvering the cultivation equipment. So, uh, the visual simulation uh, can you make it as a figure uh, 8-18B places the pan on the unused uh, marginal cropland site adjacent to the broader house, leaving more land available for production. So, mauna kita ninyo ang difference. So, we have another example here. No, kaning alignment of roads and pathways should attempt to follow the existing contour of the land to prevent steep gradients and excessive cuts and fills. Na ay sufficient nga drainage na standard and na should be provided. So, we have a minimum of 14 feet of uh, vertical clearance should be allowed to accum accommodate equipment. No, 14 feet. So, where feasible existing roads, pathways, or parking areas can be eliminated or relocated to increase op operational uh, efficiency, like anong nasa picture uh, B. Anong simulation illustrates road consolidation for improved operations. So, next one is the odor mitigations. So, the amount of odor depends on animal species, housing types, manure storage, and handling methods, size of the odor sources, the implementation of odor control technologies. So, other mitigating techniques include using manure storage uh, covers, manure amendments, organic mats, and biofilters on building exhaust fans. So, others can also be dispersed or masked using the stocks, chimneys, uh, vegetated and structural windbreaks, airflow, alteration distance, uh, alteration windbreak, uh, wind, windbreak walls, site selection, setback uh, distances, and deodorant or masking agents. So, the other associated with the sixth function of agricultural waste management system often generates the most immediate response for the decision decision makers and adjacent residents. So, na yung mga impact sa odor on adjacent land use uh, dependent on the amount of odor nga produce, also sa dependent sa weather condition, and also sa topographical na structure and structure features. 
So by anticipating the, the intensity, duration, and frequency of odors, um, agricultural waste management components can be planned uh, to mitigate katunga mga baho na associated na associate with uh, complaints or gikan sa mga complaints. So other problems can be prevented or reduced through adequate drainage, uh, run run of management, keeping animals and facilities clean, dry, and appropriate waste removal, handling and uh, transport. So locate uh, waste management facilities and utilization areas as far as practical from neighboring our neighboring residences, recreational areas, or other conflicting land use. So, avoid also sites where the where there are radical shifts of in air movement between day and night, such as those near large bodies of water or steep topography. So, ang hangin is a siya ka dapat i-consider kay especially kung asa ang direction sa hangin mas hindi to nimo iput ang imuhang agricultural waste management systems and uh dola na nga place is residential so from uh gikan sa mga sa uh, gikan sa agricultural waste management system nimo ang hangin padulong sa residential so mapuno yud ka og kanang complaints ana if ever so, other can be further mitigated by providing conditions or design features that alter the microclimate around specific agricultural waste management components. So, na ay mga, uh, so there is an abundance of sunlight, a good ventilation. For example, it helps keep livestock and poultry areas dry and relatively odor free. So, we have also ang mga southern exposure with adequate slope to provide positive drainage for runoff is uh, preferred conditions. So, in addition to trapping dust uh, particles, uh, vegetation, landform, and structure structures can channel wind to carry others away from the source of potential conflict like aning na as a figure or sa picture na ako ang attach. So, we should know, Jude, the directions of wind and set some alternatives or medicate, mitigate kung saan to siya pag-address. And then next, we have the temperature and moisture control. So, the placement of vegetation can help uh, cool buildings in summer and allow heat generating sunlight to penetrate in rainy days. Like anina sa picture. So, vegetation can alter microclimates and lower temperatures by shading the area, areas beneath the vegetation and through the process of evapotranspiration. So, trees and shrubs produce a cooling effect. Uh, they can also regulate temperature by reducing or increasing the wind velocity. So, some animals, especially sa dairy, naanas like mga dairy animals and other livestock, mangita na sila og uh, streams or ponds and uh, shades of trees for their cooling effects. Kaya na ay mga kana sila, mga inito na sila o mga lawas. And makabantay mo sa mga kabaw, magpundo na sila sa mga tunaan. Magtuna na sila for uh, cooling para mabugnawan ang ilang mga lawas. So, where the access to this feature is removed, the animal should uh, be provided if ever man imuha siyang eliminate. So, uh, provided, mag provide og other means of cooling because it really affect uh, their body. So, naasay uban nga facilities, agricultural waste management system na naay control sa temperature, especially katong mga country nga naay uh, winter. So, next is the climatic conditions. So, changes in climate could affect animals both directly and indirectly. Climate change may increase the prevalence of parasites and diseases that affect the livestock. So, potential changes in uh, veterinary practices, including an increase in the use of parasit parasiticides and other animal health. Uh, animal health treatment are likely to be adapted to maintain livestock, livestock health in response to climate-induced changes in pests and uh, insects and also the microbes so and this effect is uh, needs to address 
and uh, we are now in the water quality so the design of agricultural waste management system must consider measures to improve and protect the water quality so bodies of water in close proximity to the waste resource waste source are more susceptible to contamination uh, many states have ordinances that uh, that define setbacks and buffer requirements when citing agricultural waste management systems near water courses. So, like uh, katong na discuss nato sa like katong na discuss nato ng mga topics sa midterm, uh, water is very important, di ba, for all living organisms. Kahit livestock lang na sila na nagasik japo na sila og uh, clean water for their survival di ba naga sometimes naga um, migrate ang uban ng mga animals for them to uh, find a good source of water for their survival and like i said daghan og mga animals na uh, gusto mo puyo did sa mga marshes and uh, mga swamps it is because it is rich of water mo nang naghan og mga endangered species dito nga mga area because of their water source and then relocating a pasture uh, to an area uh, further from a stream is often the best solution in preventing degraded stream banks and animal waste from entering the stream like anin na sa figure 8-29a so because this is not always possible, so kanang measures as fencing, uh, control stream crossings, and regraded mga revegetated stream banks can aid in minimizing the transport of contaminants in runoff from direct entering sa stream like aning na sa figure 29 uh, 28-29b and now we have the noise no so noise is defined as unwanted uh, unwanted sound such as diesel engines pumps and electrical equipment some agricultural waste management system components can generate undesirable levels of noise and these components should be cited to minimize potential conflicts or abatement measures may be needed. So, noise levels are reduced by increasing the distance from a noise source, terrain, vegetation, and natural and human constructed, constructed obstacles. So, um, noises source are defined as either point source, kanang mga stationary, or the line source mo ng mga moving. So, a roadway would be an example sa line source. And ang kana irrigation pump would be an example sa mga point sources. So, sound levels are measured in decibels, no? Or DBA. I hope kabalo mo ana kung saan decibels kay sugutan na ninyo anywhere, everywhere sa inyong mga previous nga courses. So, and an increase or decrease of 10 dBA in the sound pressure level will be perceived by an observer to be doubling or halving the sounds. So, for example, a sound of 70 dBA will sound twice as loud as a sound at 60 dBA. So, acceptable absolute levels for various human use areas can be placed into four broad uh, Classes of noise abatement criteria or the in the NAC. So first we have the class A. It means that lands on which serenity and quiet are extraordinarily significant. So around 60 dBA ang iyang noise abatement criteria. And then we have the class B. Our money ang mga picnic areas, recreation areas, playgrounds, active sports areas park, residencies, motels, hotels, schools, churches, libraries, and hospitals. So, around 70 dBA and AC na sila. And then, we have the Class A or Developed Land Properties or Activities not included in Classes A or B above 75 dBA or in NAC. And then, the last one or the Class B, 
So, mo ni ang mga undeveloped no NAC. So, we have the substantial increase in noise levels can be described as 0 to 5 dBA. Wala, wala na siya in, uh, no increase. So, 5 to 10 dBA, minor increase. And 10 to 15 dBA, mo na mga major increase. And then, more than 15 dBA, substantial increase. So, sa tuwa human, we have some range na dapat, uh, dapat lang na mo lang tunga di, decibels lang. So, our air can stand a maximum of 85 decibels as an average noise level over a day before it is damaged, before it madamages sa noise. Anything above the 85 decibels can damage your hearing. So, no, normal conversation is typically situated in the mga 60 to 70 decibels lang na siya. And uh, that's it. That's end our discussion about the first topic in lecture 8. And bye-bye.